James is the senior test lab technician with over 14 years of experience in metal testing. He has a broad range of expertise in mechanical property testing, crack analysis, spectrometer, x-ray machines, and ensuring overall structural integrity of the product. Hi James, I understand you're going to walk us through the testing procedures you follow here at Alcoa. Yeah, what we have here today is the impact machine, also known as the impact tower. This is one of a kind in the world. The striker on this tower weighs over a ton. This machine itself is used to simulate a wheel and tire assembly hitting the curb while vehicles in motion. We control two variables for this testing, one which is the drop pipe, we could go as high as 90 feet. The other is the horizontal access, which we adjust the wheel and tire assembly under the striker itself. After the striker is dropped, the wheel and tire assembly should lose no more than 50% of its PSI within the first 30 seconds. This will determine whether the test is a passed or a failed. Doug, can you tell us how these wheels fared under pressure? Certainly today we were looking at the impact results of a fabricated steel wheel and a forged aluminum wheel. Now both wheels did pass tests. However, there's a significant difference in the results of where the impact actually hit. When you take a look at the fabricated steel wheel, you'll see that the area of impact is much larger and that the flange itself is folded over significantly. There's also a large loss of paint. Now in the future, this would be an area for corrosion to occur and because of the large impact that occurred and the deformation that took place, we would have large radial and lateral runouts possibly as well going down the road. Now in the forged aluminum wheel, we do not see that. It's a very small area of impact and really there's no deformation of the flange itself. Therefore, the lateral and radial runout probably would not be affected too much in this particular part. Now we did not impact a cast wheel today. We have done that in the past and we have found that they have not fared very well in this particular test.